I'd like to share investigation results that I found where I was working with the Salesforce Shield platform encryption and with some issues related to usage in SQL of fields that use Shield platform encryption. So if we use in Salesforce Shield platform encryption, we should know that there are two ways for us to encrypt data. One of them is probabilistic encryption. So the idea of this encryption is in the following, that this type of encryption use randomness in the encryption algorithm. So when, for example, we are trying to encrypt the same text several times, it will in general, you know, like give us different kind of results. So because of that, we could not really search or perform any kind of SQL operation based on the fields encrypted this way. So also in the Salesforce we have different type of encryption, it's deterministic encryption. So it allows us to use filtering in Salesforce even if the field is, is encrypted. So if you will need to have additional details, you will be able to pause this video and check information related to deterministic encryption and the actual initialization vector that is used for this type of encryption. But please note that uh, for this deterministic encryption there are two types. One of them is uh, case sensitive and another one is case insensitive. So we will be able to see them a little bit later, but basics that you should know that, uh, for example, if you use case sensitive, then, uh, for example, this value and this value, there are, will be two unique values. So they will be not the same in terms of the search. Um, so in Salesforce, from where you could set up uh, encryption, uh, it's platform encryption chapter in the sidebar. So if you would like to encrypt standard fields on standard objects, you need to go there. And here you will be able to uh, select what kind of objects you would like to encrypt, what kind of fields you would like to encrypt, and what kind of encryption do you want to use. So for example, should it be probabilistic? probabilistic, deterministic case sensitive or case insensitive. If you could not see those possible values here, what you need to do is first of all you need to go to the key management section and in the drop down that you will see you will need to select uh, first of all generation of the key. So that means that initially you should generate at least one key for your organization and after that you will uh, be able to see an option to create deterministic encryption key. For some reason this section loading slow. But uh, anyway, once it's done, once you created the key, you will be able to set up this additional deterministic encryption key here, so it will be separate one. And after that, when you will go to encryption policy, you will see this additional deterministic encryption option. So for them purpose, uh, I created, let me go to the object manager custom object, these different kind of fields that allowed me to test how it in general works and what should be done, how it could be set. So for example, if you have custom object and you would like to perform, um, let's say search, sorry, encryption for any custom fields that you have on it, what you need to do is you need to go to these uh, field settings. So for example, let me show you what I did. Uh, here, for example, I have uh, insensitive deterministic encryption. If I will go to this field, you will be able to see that when I'm clicking on edit, here I will have a list of possible options for encryption. And uh, I choose that deterministic encryption, in my case, with insensitive mode. So when you select in this field, you choose in type of your encryption and you're clicking on save. Uh, but please also don't forget if you use external ID or unique key fields, uh, you could not set up this field as encrypted. So for example, let me go to uh, fields. Let me find here I have uh, external and unique field. If, for example, I will try to do anything with it, so for example, as you could see, if the field is encrypted, I could not select that it's unique you or it's external ID, so it's not possible, it's not allowed. Also, encryption is not allowed for the formula fields, so if you will go to the formula, we will click edit, so you will even don't have such kind of option to encrypt your 
uh, value in this field. So I created on this field a couple of records. Some of them have uh, insensitive deterministic encryption, uh, one of them have probabilistic encryption, and one of them uh, and one of them should have uh, key sensitive deterministic encryption. It's this one. So after that, when I just created a record for that uh, kind of object, I expected that some side that some data will be masked because on my profile and on the assigned permission sets I don't have uh, permission to see uh, encrypted data. So when I refreshed the page, the first my assumption was that uh, it's not yet encrypted and so that's why it's not showing as a masked values. But uh, when I went to the... Let me show you where is my... Uh, encryption statistic. Let me jump back. Platform encryption. If I will go to the encryption statistic, statistics, I will be able to see that I have at this moment only one record on this uh, custom object and it's already was encrypted for each of fields that I have. So for example, probable Listic encryption, external unique field was uh, set, but in general it's not uh, in real life external and unique, as you remember, and insensitive deterministic encryption. So all of these uh, fields were encrypted, but why it's not uh, under the mask if I don't have permissions to see encrypted data? I started to Google for that problem and what I was able to find that view encrypted data permission uh, not need with uh, Salesforce sheet platform encryption. So what does it mean? So now we no longer able to use view encrypted data permission in permission set or profile to control who see uh, unmasked encrypted fields values. Instead, all users with read access for a field or record will see it content in the presentation layer in plain text when it's encrypted at rest. Users who don't have access to a field record or object won't see the information whatever is encrypted or not. So I will attach this uh, link under the video. So there are a lot of people who got the same problem. So for example when they just enabled uh, Shield Platform encryption, they encrypted some fields, they don't have uh, assignment for the view encrypted data permissions, but they still see the data and it was mentioned that it's now working that way that uh, Shield Platform encryption is, uh, let's say, designed to encrypt data at rest for the orgs that need it for compliance reason, but it exists at lower levels than field by field permissions. So that's how it works. So let me show you um, the problem that, for example, uh, was solved with this, this deterministic encryption. So for example, let me copy one select of the object that I just created. So for example, it's insensitive deterministic encryption. So as you could see at this moment, for example, I am looking for this field value. So if, for example, I will change the first later of this to something else, then it's capital later. You could see that result is still uh, here, it was found. But if I, I, for example, will use deterministic encryption with case sensitive decryption, uh, encryption and we'll try to search it. So, for example, you could see this first later here, lowercase. Let me make it as it is and let me try to search it. You could see I could not find it. And if I, for example, use probabilistic encryption, what I will be able to get is when I'm trying to perform a SQL query. Let me just refresh my console. When I'm trying to execute it, why I am always getting its error that we have invalid field, we could not run any SQL query on this field, so it's not working. So if for any reason you need to use encryption and you need to be able to perform SQL queries based on this field, what you need to use is you need to use deterministic encryption. But in your case, you need to decide should it be a case sensitive or case insensitive uh, type of encryption. So at this moment, that's all. Thank you for your attention and bye-bye.